Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú espérame afuera, pa' si no llamarte. No traigas paraguas como quiera, va a mojarte. La tempestad. Hello, guys, welcome back to Max Reaction. How are you doing today? Hopefully, you're having a good day. Hopefully, you're having a good holiday season. Anyway, we're gonna react to actually happen, and this is my parents were broke, but I got the best Xmas, Xmas present. So, what was the Christmas present? I do not know, so let's check it out. What could be the possible best Christmas present? It doesn't have to be a materialistic item, does it? I don't know, let's check the story out, then let's talk about it afterwards. Hi, I am Tammy. Merry Christmas to everyone. Thank you. Christmas is the time when everyone is expecting to find a miracle under the Christmas tree. Yes. But what is a miracle? A new device? A bicycle? Beating cancer is a miracle. As for me, I know exactly what my answer would be. What was it? Because a Christmas miracle actually happened to me once when I was 12. I come from a wonderful family. That's there awesome. Four of us. Mom, Dad, and my younger brother. It's great to have a good family. We're a regular Support. middle class family. Not very wealthy. Me and neither. My parents have <laughs> always done everything for us. We always received small gifts from them during the year. Even on no reason. Just because they wanted to see us happy. Absolutely. Christmas, Christmas was something special. My parents spent weeks looking for the perfect presents for me and my brother. Weeks! It never seemed enough for them. We had lots of boxes of all the colors and sizes under our Christmas tree every year. And when we unboxed all the presents on Christmas Day, it was an avalanche of toys, devices, clothes, and all the stuff that makes children. You are spoiled. You know that saying about giving presents is more pleasant than receiving them? Nonsense. I have always thought that <laughs> to find a good present for someone is an irritating quest. It can Especially be tough. People looking for it and can't even say if a person is sincerely happy to get it or just pretends to I love socks. I go through a bunch. Me, Christmas was always about receiving presents. <laughs> However, that year when I got 12 was very different. Uh oh. Our family faced difficult times. Happens. There was the financial crisis, and my dad lost his job. That's terrible. We had to move to a smaller house because we couldn't afford our previous one. There's nothing wrong with that. My mom had to find a second job. We were kids, me and my brother, but we felt that hard times were coming. Our parents started teaching us to be reasonable and even thrifty. Those are good lessons. We didn't mind. My parents managed to keep up their high spirits, and we didn't feel that something tragic was going on. Now I know that those were hard times when our family found themselves with enormous debt. Sold the car. Wow. Every cent. But I thought that those were just minor issues, and soon everything would turn as usual. That's why I was looking forward to Christmas with its abundance. Oh of no! Christmas. You're gonna be disappointed. Oh, Somewhere in September, my mom started preparing us for the fact that Christmas would be different from the usual. Yes. Life. I'm sorry, kids. I don't want to be. It's mean, not being mean. I'm not sure we'll be able to give you that many presents. Would you mind? Of course we didn't. Not that we would remain without presents anyway. That year, I was especially looking forward to Christmas because New Year would give us new hope. Yes. I saw that mom and dad were both pretty tired. And we all needed a holiday break. Absolutely. That's why, when we decorated the Christmas tree, it felt somehow special. The quantity of boxes was significantly smaller than it used to be. That doesn't matter. But I was still looking forward to mine. I tried not to pay special attention to the boxes. <laughs> and not to read it's hard not to. But one box attracted me a lot. It was a big box, pretty green and red wrapping paper. And so I couldn't help watching him. What could more. be? What could it be? Dad's present for Mom. Wow. Lucky Mom, I thought. <laughs> On Christmas Day, we woke up early and... I'm excited. Dad what is it? To open our present. What is it? Dad opened the door and let us in. And Mom was already in there smiling joyfully. Happy but memories. I tried to apologize that we wouldn't get as many presents as usual. And looked a bit embarrassed. It's all right. After all... It's not a big deal. I knew they couldn't afford much. My brother got a new sweater and an art kit. 
Those are cool. And we were absolutely delighted by the presents. What thoughtful kids. The biggest box with my mom's present. The one that I liked a lot. But something unexpected happened. She took it and gave it to me. I didn't understand a thing. Why? Why would she do this? Why would she? It was some mistake. I checked the tag and it said that it was for me. I was perplexed. I took it and didn't open it. They tricked you? Looked at my mom's then I came to her and whispered, but mom. But she was just looking at me joyfully. She just wants to see her kids happy. Open it. What are you waiting for? I didn't have the guts to ask questions about what was going on and just opened the box. Those were beautiful new ice Skates. But they were a bit too big for me. I could wear them with thick socks. There you go. So it was clear they were for my mom. Your mom just wants to see you happy. I looked into my mom's eyes and suddenly understood. She was so happy looking at me. That's her present. That for her, giving one more present to me was more valuable than getting a present herself. What a nice lesson. My parents were happier when they could make happier us. And it was their Christmas miracle. And that was an eye-opener. I was asking what a miracle is for you, but that was a true Christmas miracle for Seeing me. Seeing your parents happy. The realization that giving a present can be more valuable than receiving. Absolutely. And that is what Christmas spirit is all about. Being less selfish and sharing your warm feeling with the people you care about. I wish you all to have your special miracle this Christmas. I wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year once again. Thank you. I hope this year Christmas for you will be more <laughs> special than it ever has been, and that it'll bring your family even closer together. What a lovely story, and what a... Those kids, you know, what understanding kids. A lot of kids may not understand that, but they did, and that's awesome. And like she said, giving a present can bring so much joy to somebody that's giving it. Seeing the smiles on the face, seeing the happiness of the person receiving it. Like, who who don't want to see other people happy? Like, that's that's amazing. And those are, those are little miracles. And <clears throat> as like she did, I hope you guys out there are close to your family and you get closer and your friends and all the miracles happen that need to be. And uh, I just hope you have a happy holidays. But what a great story. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Um, and we can learn a lot from it. So go ahead and go check out more of their uh, videos out. I'm sure you're going to learn a lot from them. Anyway, those are my thoughts. Those are my feelings. Those are my reactions. What's your thoughts? What's your feelings? What's your reactions? I don't know. Tell me down below. Drop some links down below to the side. Hit that subscribe button. And next time, choose a max reaction. But for now, you need to spread that peace, that love, that happiness wherever you go. And I'll catch you guys next time. Baby, donde tú quieras, yo paso a buscarte. Tú espérame afuera, pa' si no llamar.